They canceled. When selling your house in Arizona, you might feel a little helpless if your buyer cancels the contract and they get their earnest money back. If that's the case, then what's the point of earnest money anyway? Well, buyers can cancel the contract and get a return of their earnest money if they are canceling within three main contingencies. So here's what you need to know to avoid this unpleasant surprise as a seller. And be sure to stay tuned until the end to hear my best tip to ensure your home sale actually goes through. One of the most common contingencies that most people are aware of is the inspection contingency. And this is 10 days in Arizona unless otherwise specified in the contract. Your buyer can cancel for almost any reason during this 10 day time frame, and they will get their earnest money back. Don't like the schools in the area? Cancel. Don't like the house anymore? Cancel. Not feel in the neighborhood? cancel. Not to mention they can cancel for almost any inspection reason from a burned out light bulb to a leaky roof. The contract states, if buyer in buyer's sole discretion disapproves of items as allowed herein, buyer shall deliver to seller a signed notice of items disapproved and state in the notice that the buyer elects to either immediately cancel this contract, in which case a buyer's earnest money shall be released. So let's say they get through their inspection, but they don't cancel the contract. Rather, they submit a request for repairs to you. Depending on your response to this request, the buyers can still cancel. If you say you don't wanna repair the items that they requested, or you'll only repair some of them, the buyers have the right to cancel the contract based on that response. The only response you can give them that doesn't allow them to cancel is that you will make all of the repairs that they asked for. Here, the contract states, if seller is unwilling or unable to correct or address any of the items disapproved, buyer may cancel this contract within five days after delivery of seller's response or after expiration of the time for seller's response, whichever occurs first, and the earnest money shall be released to the buyer. So the buyers have five days after your response to make their decision. If we add up all of this time, they have 10 days to inspect and provide their request for repairs. You as the seller have five days to respond respond to that. And then based on that response, the buyers get five more days to decide on their response. So altogether, this could take up 20 days of the escrow period. That's 20 days of uncertainty where you're not sure if the buyer is going to cancel and whether or not you'd have to return their earnest money. So this is a big one to watch out for since there are multiple opportunities for the buyer to cancel. Now, the next challenge is the appraisal. If the buyer is financing, they will need an appraisal. And if that appraisal comes in below the agreed upon purchase price, the buyer has the opportunity again to cancel and get their earnest money back. Here, the contract states, if the premises fails to appraise for the purchase price in any appraisal required by the lender, buyer has five days after notice of appraised value to cancel this contract and receive a return of earnest money, or the appraisal contingency shall be waived unless otherwise prohibited by federal law. So you have a couple options here. If the appraised price is lower than the purchase price, you as the the seller can bring your price down to that appraised value and you guys can move forward. Otherwise, the buyer has to decide to waive that appraisal contingency and put forth additional cash to make up the difference. Depending on the market conditions, they may not be willing to do that and therefore have the ability to cancel and get their earnest money back. Now, the loan contingency is really the last out that a buyer has in the contract. And when I say last, I really mean this can come down to the last minute. The loan contingency allows a buyer to cancel the contract anytime up to three days before close of escrow. Now keep in mind, this is only if the buyer is financing the property. Basically, this contingency is if the buyer no longer qualifies for the loan, they are able to cancel and get the earnest money back. Here the contract states, this contract shall be canceled and buyer shall be entitled to return of earnest money if after diligent and good faith effort, buyer is unable to obtain loan approval without PTD conditions and delivers notice of inability to obtain loan approval no later than three days prior to close of escrow date. Can you imagine getting that close to closing three days before close of escrow just to find out that your buyer is able to cancel and get the earnest money back? Even though you may feel like you're in the clear at that point, there is still a chance that the contract can be canceled. Now, my best tip to make sure your home sale goes through is to have backup offers. A backup offer is the best way to keep this process moving towards closing. Now, you can't just pull a backup offer out of thin air, so it's important to use the right list price strategy from the start 
in order to garner backup offers. If you want to know more about this process, check the description below to set up a discovery call and stay tuned for a future video where I talk more about list price strategy. If you're thinking about selling your home, watch this video here about prepping your home for sale. I'll see you in the next video.